going to show you how to install our intelligent stair lighting set, giving you hands-free illumination for your stairs. Sets consist of LED strip lights, protective profiles with diffusers, motion sensors for the top and bottom of the staircase, control units and power supplies. This video covers installation using control unit SCR2, which gives a sweeping effect up or down the stairs depending on which motion sensor has been activated. There is an accompanying installation guide, which you should read carefully before starting your installation. The profile shown here is the standard design, and for this demonstration, we've laid out six steps on a table. The profiles available are standard, which can be fitted underneath treads or to risers, depending on your particular installation requirements, recessed, which is designed to sit in a groove underneath the treads of an open staircase. To fit this, make a channel of the required depth and length using a router or other suitable tool, and angled, which can be fitted underneath the ball nose of each stair or in the corner where the treads and risers meet. For your installation, line up the profiles where you want them, drill the aluminium and screw the profile in place. The LED strip lights are positioned in the aluminium profile and secured in place using the self-adhesive backing. The diffuser snaps back into position along the profile. End caps for the profile are provided. These have different designs depending on the profile chosen. Ensure that the wires pass through the end cap appropriately before connecting the stair lights to the control unit. Control unit SCR2 can control up to 21 stairs. There are 21 individual numbered terminals which each take the negative connection for a single stair. There is a single positive terminal, labelled A, which takes a common positive connection for all stairs. Each step has a wire tail of one metre in length. This can be extended as necessary for your particular installation using a suitable joint. The black portion of the wire is for the connection to the, one of the negative terminals on the control unit, and the red wire is for connection to the positive terminal. We suggest that you label each wire so that you know which stair and connection it goes to. Insert the negative black wire for each strip into a different numbered terminal and secure the wire. If you have fewer than 21 stairs, you are advised to start at number 1 and use consecutive terminals. Create a common positive connection from the, for the red wires from all strips using connector clips or via any other safe means. Insert the common positive into the terminal labelled A and tighten the screw to secure the wire. Your set is supplied with two motion sensors. There are three different designs. Flush mounted, which come with a back box. Install the back box using screws and clip the sensors in place. Surface mounted, which are small and light and should be stuck in place using double-sided adhesive tape or glue. And baluster mounted, which are designed to fit within the baluster. Insert each sensor into a recess of the correct diameter and fix it securely using adhesive tape, glue or an alternative method of your preference. Position the motion sensors at the top and bottom of the stairs so that the person entering the staircase crosses the beam. Motion sensors are supplied with tails of three core cable, coloured red, black and green. For the first motion sensor, insert each core of the cable into the terminal of the corresponding colour with due regard to which terminals are for the top sensor and which are for the bottom, and tighten the terminal screw to grip the wires securely. Repeat the process for the second sensor. Using suitable two-core cable, connect the control unit to the power supply, being sure to keep the polarity consistent. Plus and minus on the top left of the control unit indicate positive and negative terminals. Finally, connect the power supply unit to the mains. Your installation is now complete. To switch the set on and off, use the power button at the bottom left hand side of the controller.
To enable or disable the motion sensors so that the lights are constantly on, press pause. To adjust the brightness, press the brightness button on the top right of the control unit and use the plus and minus buttons to set the level. Press OK when you are happy with the level of the light. The LED indicators at the top of the unit show the chosen setting. You can adjust the duration that the set remains lit once all steps have illuminated and the speed of illumination in the same way by pressing the correct function button, adjusting using the plus and minus buttons and then pressing OK. Now that your stair lights are installed, you can enjoy the comfort and safety of automatically switched lights on your stairs.